Hi everyone, welcome to Edie's Craft Room. I hope you are having a wonderful summer. It has been hot, hot, hot in my area and I am so excited to be getting away to the beach very, very soon. Actually, probably when you are watching this video, I am there right now and I have been doing a little bit of sewing in my craft room to prep for going to one of my favorite places in the world. So I am thrilled to share with you a terry cloth cover up that I made and take you through my steps because it was very much a little bit of like, let's just try this and see what happens. So I will make sure to show you a much better image right now of this gorgeous, fun, comfortable, and practical cover-up. But I want to tell you a little bit about how I got the idea for it. So I actually follow and am a huge fan of a designer who is based out of the beach where I am actually going and where I will be at right now when you are watching this video, and loved these terry cloth little dresses, little shift dresses. They looked so comfortable and just like the perfect thing to put over your swimsuit, either going or coming from the pool or the beach. And even just after, you know, I don't know how many of you know that feeling of like when you get back from the beach and you're just a little bit sunburnt and you've had your shower and you don't want anything clingy on your body. You just want something light and cool and absorbent. And so I thought this terry cloth dress was just the perfect solution for that situation. The only problem is it was a little bit expensive. Now, as someone who makes their own quilts and sometimes garments, I think this is absolutely a fair price to be asking for this piece. And also she designs the fabric that she uses in this dress herself. So amazing craftsmanship there and hats off to her. But as someone who has a little bit of sewing experience, I thought that this was something I could accomplish myself. So I purchased this terry cloth fabric from Joann's Fabric. It was very inexpensive and also purchased a little bit of trim. I got some from Joann's as well as from Etsy. And I decided to try my hand at this project. Now, I absolutely love the beach. It is my favorite place in the entire world to be, but there is one person who loves the beach even more than I do, and that is my mother. So part of the reason why I wanted to wait to get this video up is because while I was making this and when I had this idea, I could not make one for myself without making one for her. And she loved this design as well, loved the designer, but felt that it was just maybe a little bit too short for what she would prefer in this sort of dress. So this was a great opportunity for me to customize it for her preferences as well. So with my materials in hand, I went ahead and got sewing. I did not use a formal pattern for these dresses. I actually had a dress in my wardrobe that I have absolutely been loving and is a shift style dress. So I more or less just used that as the foundation for how I wanted this dress to be made up and then cut a little bit wider, one for my seam allowances, which are larger when you are sewing garments and not that quarter inch that you're sewing with when you're making quilts. And then the second reason is because I wanted it to be loose. I wanted it to be comfortable. And like I said before, you know when you're wet and you're just trying to pull on like spandex or something tight? I did not want that. I wanted this to be easy, be breezy, and beautiful, just like CoverGirl, right? <laughs> but actually captured into a garment that was functional and beautiful for the beach or pool. So as you can see, I got down on my floor and started cutting everything out. I cut on the fold so that would make my back into one piece. And then I actually just cut the front into a half because I wanted to add a zipper um, as well in the front just to make it really easy to slip on. From there, I added some stitching to all of my raw edges. 
just wanted to make sure that the fabric would not fray and just give it a little bit more of a finished look. I've talked before on my channel about how I hate how it seems like even really expensive dresses these days are unlined. However, in this piece, I wanted to keep it very light and cool. So I did not line this dress, but I did make sure that my seams were finished and I didn't have loose threads hanging around anywhere and it looked nice. There are only a few seams that you have to make in this garment. So that would just be the sides of the dress with the underarms and then also adding your zipper in and then finishing your bottom raw edge. Because I couldn't find any terry cloth patterned fabric that I liked or felt was appropriate for my age or my mother's age, it seemed to all be children's fabric, which is why I understand that the designer would choose to design her own fabric in the original design. Um, I wanted to still add though something of interest. I didn't want it to just be like a plain towel wrapped around me. So I did purchase some trim and I added the trim on either side of the zipper as well as the pockets. And we'll talk about the pockets in just a second. I also wanted to add a hook to the top to keep the top closed, but I know not every time I'm gonna put this on, I am gonna want to close that hook. So with keeping in mind that I might want the garment to come open just a little bit, I did add that trim on the inside top half of the neckline. Again, just one of those things, those like touches that I wanted to incorporate to make this feel like a well-made garment um, and not something cheap. So that was just a little detail I wanted to make sure I added to. Now for the pockets, um, I'm sure, I think the original design had them on the sides and like built into the seam. That seemed a little bit intimidating to me. So I actually kind of designed quote unquote these pockets myself. Um, I just took some paper that I had and sketched out using a ruler and my eyeballs, truly. There was nothing uh, specific or scientific about this and just cut them out and then pinned them to fabric and then cut that fabric out. And then I finished around the seam with that stitch that I used for the rest of the raw edges and then added a little bit of trim on it as well. Now for the trim, actually, here's some of that white trim that I used. I did two things. First thing I pinned it down or I actually used Wonder Clips a lot in this project, which was really helpful. Um, and then I used this Aileen's, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it, Aileen's Fabric Fusion Permanent Fabric Adhesive. I love this stuff. It works great. I actually bought this large bottle because I have used um, this pen all the way up. This actually, I originally purchased to help bind my quilts because I really struggle with that. Um, but it has also been great for my garment making as well. So um, used this to just get it all down and let that dry and just also add an extra layer of protection. And then I went with my needle and just did a running stitch down the middle to keep this nice and secure on my garment. Now for the zipper, I used this invisible white Coats and Clark polyester zipper. I have never put a zipper in to anything before. <laughs> I've never attached a zipper. It has always scared me, but this was actually so easy. And I will say that the terry cloth fabric is incredibly forgiving. It's kind of like working with Cuddle or something. Um, so I really liked it. Now also like Cuddle, it makes a mess. <laughs> so do be prepared for that if you haven't worked with this material before. Um, but I was really thankful that it worked out so beautifully because like I said, I was just kind of flying by the seat of my pants with this project there really was very little planning that went into this and I'm glad it worked out the way it did. So that is pretty much it other than of course I added my handmade label in there with the year. That is just my favorite part of every project. It's just so great. I equate it to an artist a painter signing their painting. It's, it's kind of the same way but with textiles and with fabrics and I have been absolutely thrilled with this project and cannot wait for my mom to 
see hers as well. They're a little matchy matchy, so she I will I will abstain from using mine when she uses hers. Um, that was really cute when I was really young, but now, now I don't know if she wants to match me. Um, but I am really excited about this. She also lives in a tropical area, so I'm sure she'll be able to use it more often than I will. Um, but I have really enjoyed using mine at the pool. And again, having something that is beautiful and functional and a lookalike to a piece that was much more expensive. Thank you so much for joining me today in my craft room. I hope this project inspires you to try something new, to experiment and make something that you absolutely love. And maybe it is, or maybe it isn't useful. Thank you for watching. As always, it would be an honor to have you spend future time with me. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you back in Edie's Craft Room. I'm just so proud of this community that we have here on YouTube, this beautiful quilting and crafting community. And it is just such a highlight of my life to get to interact with you all. Thank you again and happy crafting. I'll see you next time.